Josh Jacobs suffered an ankle sprain, but the good news is he did not break anything. We have watched the star back grow in front of our eyes this year, but if he cannot go it will be a huge loss to Raiders. Jacobs will be playing the Jets this week so if he can go it would be huge for fan. John Gruden was asked if there was any concern about Jacobs' injury and he said, obviously there is. That is not a very good sign, but if it is not a high ankle sprain he could tape it up and go. Right now the Raiders are 6-5 and are in second place in the AFC West behind only the Chiefs. They are still technically in the hunt, so getting back Jacobs would be huge. Daniel Jones suffered a hamstring injury against the Bengals in the third quarter but did return for a few plays. After limping off the field though, he was seen on the sidelines encouraging his teammates until the end of the game. Giants head coach feels optimistic about Jones, but if the team does in fact take caution, the Giants would have to turn to veteran QB Colt McCoy. McCoy has not started a game since 2014. There is some good news on DJ Moore. Matt Rule will not rule out the star wide receiver DJ Moore who suffered an ankle injury in week 12. The Panthers have a bye this week which would give more time to rest. His status is still unclear, but the good news is DJ Moore's x-rays came back negative.